got the sanding paper, which is 120, 220, and then 80 and 120. And then staining pads, driftwood. We got two of these. And then we got the clear satin long lasting protection for the ending with the finish. So that's all we got for the top of the table. All right, so you wanna put something down so you don't get all the sanding stuff on the floor. And then we're gonna start out with, which one, baby? What's the, the 80? 80. So you start out with 80 and then you go to 120 and then you do the other ones, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to sand as much of this down. You wanna sand all the original finish off of it. So it's like just straight wood. have to clean it and then we're gonna start staining that's what it looks like <laughs> doing this inside i don't know why we did this inside it makes a big mess but we live in an apartment so it's kind of hard to do it anywhere else so i'm gonna open the driftwood and one of these sponges and i'm letting the table dry right now i'm just gonna use one of these and put that in here and then i'm gonna get my gloves So we did this bench right here, which looks so good. And then the tabletop looks like this. We're gonna eventually do the chairs, but um, we were not really focused on that right now. Um, the table looks so good. We are in love with it. We put two coats of the top coat on there and it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Like seriously, I'm gonna insert the before and after again just so you guys can see how good it looks. So, yep. Hope you guys enjoyed this farmhouse table makeover. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Feel just like an astronaut. I was in the corner of my mind, got trapped in. I forgot to look